there's been quite a few haters in the comments, quite a few haters pretty much everywhere. But my goal isn't to break 150 tomorrow, it's to break 140. Break one. <laughs> break one minute. Break one. <laughs> I'm fast as boy. <laughs> Not that funny. Okay, but in all seriousness, people, sunglasses are coming off for the serious part of the conversation. Tomorrow, I will be going to Portland and we have an 800 on deck. Goal for tomorrow, go through 200 more aggressive than I have been and really be present on the day of the race. Have a more focused warm up. Just be like really jacked up before I race. The last race, I mean, obviously I was a little sick. I'd been and out my ass for the last day 10 times i was just off i think people could tell i was off so my goal is to just really get out of the gates with ambition i'm not going to put a time on it but i'd like to perform until the line and perform better than i have been performing but you know what guys it's the start of the season plenty of races coming i've got this 800 tomorrow and then i'm doing another 800 six days later i'm in a great place right now i'm happy pre-race dinner night out eating some food what is this food Rice chicken casserole. It's really good. Also, comment down below if you think I should cut my hair or grow it out long. My hair's been looking pretty, pretty good lately. <laughs> All right, people, it's 9.45 a.m. Gonna do a quick little jog, 10 minutes or so in Seattle. I race at 5.15. We're gonna leave here at 11, hopefully get there around 2.30ish, be able to chill for an hour and a half, and then warm up, race, and get out of there. Oh, first steps. Feeling good. Waiting here, our favorite spot. It's not that warm out. It's a little breezy too here in Seattle. So I'm hoping it's, oh, got the light. Oh yeah, five minutes in, that's upside down. I'm gonna take a scoop and a half of this X Endurance Fuel 5. Think of it like sugar that I'll be sipping on before I race. Check. Just massaging out my abdominals. Yeah, I gotta gotta work out the stomach. Well, I've got you guys here. Quick little shout out to Hydragun for sponsoring today's video. The Atom is a much more small, compact massage gun. We got three heads on this thing, and it's got a five-hour battery life, so I absolutely love it. He can't stop himself. It feels so good. I use every single day massage out all those little things. We're using the flat head right now, but there's two other ones that are, one's really sharp that I like to use a lot. So I'll be using that before we race. The two main areas that I'm massaging out usually are my calves and my glutes because those get the most tight and getting that relief, especially before big sessions is super crucial for me as an athlete. I always wanna make sure that I'm not gonna pull anything before a race or a huge workout. So being able to massage out my calves and my glutes is an absolute game changer. If you are interested in getting the Atom, hit the link down below in my description to get $15 off your Atom by Hydragun. I'm also gonna take a, I'm also gonna take a ketone shot after I warm up. That's my water bottle, protein bar after I race. I've also got the Hydragun in here, as you can see. Energy drink I'm gonna have before I race. It's called Alani New. They kind of work with Ali. I like it. It says it contains 200 milligrams of caffeine. Oh. Hey, George. He just wants these eggs, which look really good. Three hour drive on deck right now pretty nervous already for this race. The breakfast is delicious, but I can't really enjoy eating on race day. Allie is sick, but she's back in the driver's seat. If a high school girl runs 432, people are like, oh, that's cool. Like she ran 432. The high school guy runs 359 and people are like kneeling at his feet. Well, not anymore. Not Sucking anymore. Not anymore. Four kids just broke it in the same race. It's not the yeah. same. It is, but it the, still is the different. The frustrating thing to me though is there isn't like a milestone like breaking four for girls that is like remotely as exciting. Well, you just gotta crazy. break four in the 15. That's about equivalent to breaking four in no, the mile. No, but I'm saying like if you tell a rando like, oh yeah, my mile time's 359, they're gonna think you're a god. But if you tell a I rando, am a god. Okay, yeah, true, true, true. But if you tell a rando, like, oh yeah, I ran 359 in the 1500, they'll be like, what's a 1500? I always have a sensitive stomach on race day, and Allie thinks it's funny. I hate eating on race day. I mean, everyone hates eating on race day, but you are so dramatic. <laughs> It's currently 1.35. I've got about a little less than four hours before I race. We're about an hour away from getting to the place, so I'm gonna eat this now and then chill. Well, we went to the wrong track. 40 minutes away from where the meet actually is. Luckily, we got here at 2.40, so I still have two and a half hours, but it's okay. I just gotta focus up. 
I saw two dachshunds on my run. Nice. See if you can beat it. Hopefully this settles the stomach a little bit. All right, guys, 151.0. Um, I got eighth out of nine, but it was so close. I thought I was gonna potentially win or get catch a bunch of guys in the last hundred, but the wall just kept getting wider and we all kind of just stuck together. And I couldn't really get anyone, but overall, another step in the right direction. Over a second faster than a month ago. Uh, both splits were faster. First lap and second lap was faster. So hopefully this turns into sub 150 soon. But 151.0, step in the right direction. Positive result. Sucks that I couldn't beat basically anyone, but overall competed well. So felt like a race. <laughs>